Hi guys, I just wanted to update you on some stuff that's been going on in my life, and um, I ordered some stuff from Sephora the other day. I got a Benefit Silky Finish Lipstick in my treat, and it's what I'm wearing right now, and I really think it's gorgeous. And it lasts for a, quite a while. It lasts um, about four hours until I go on break at work, so I think that was pretty nice. And it doesn't dry my lips. Um, I really like it. Uh, they also sent me a bunch of samples. Sam Sephora always sends samples. Um, but I used a coupon code at checkout called Under Wraps. It was on their website. I don't know if it was just like a Black Friday thing, but they sent me a lot of samples. They sent me a Bare Mineral Stroke of Light sample. They sent me a Clean Perfume sample. NARS Tinted Moisturizer. Urban Decay um, Makeup Primer, Viva La Juicy, Lancome um, Makeup Primer, and uh, some Sephora Foundation Samples. Um, I'm going to try those all out eventually and see how I like them. But other than that, I really liked what I got from Sephora. The lipstick was great. Um, I picked up clarifying lotion from Clinique that I had run out of. I use the the Clinique three step for acne and it really works well for me because I do have pretty bad acne. I mean, if I use it consistently for a long while, my acne will just totally disappear, which is great. So if you have problems with acne, you should definitely look into this and try to pick it up. A lot of people say that Clinique is bad for your skin. I don't know what kind of, what they've been doing, but Clinique is great for your skin. It, you cleanse, you use the clarifying lotion, and then you moisturize, and your skin looks beautiful. And if you do that for a while, you'll have gorgeous skin. Um, I'll do a review on that in the future, I think, because, you know, it's great. It really has made a difference in my life. Anyway, um, other than what I got at Sephora, oops, um, I've been getting my nails done lately because I recently got a job and now that I can afford it, um, you know, I've always wanted to just have acrylic nails all the time because I really think they're gorgeous and I really like French manicures and so I decided to get them. Um, I've had gel nails before but I really think that gel nails are kind of a rip off because in my experience uh, they're not as strong as acrylics and they peel at the edges faster than these do and they have a tendency to shatter if you hit something and they're both acrylics they're both chemicals I mean there's no getting around that you still have to file down your nail to get the gel nail on otherwise it won't stick so when people say that gel nails are better for your nails I don't think that's true I mean you do about the same thing to them it's just a different type of uh, nail product you're putting on top and what's the difference? They're both acrylics. One smells more than the other when you put it on and you please. It's not that big of a deal. Um, there's a difference with the gel nails where you can put nail polish coats on and use regular nail polish remover and it won't damage the gel nail. Um, see, I just, the way I get around that is I just use nail polish remover for artificial nails. I mean, it's not that hard, people. You, you really can save like $30 just by getting the acrylics. It's not that big of a difference, in my opinion. But anyway, I really, I really do like my nails. I mean, they're gorgeous and they hold up strong and I just put cuticle oil on them every night and moisturize my hands and after I get them done, I, m I make sure I put on a top coat to seal the edges so I don't get any lift up. And it, they look gorgeous all the time. And that, it makes me feel a lot better about myself. At least, in my opinion. That's just how I feel about it. So. But other than that, that's really that's, that's all that's been going on in my life right now. Um, so, if you are looking for like a soft moisturizing lipstick feel free to go pick this up um, 
silky finish lipstick. It's gorgeous, really. I really love it. I'll swatch it on my arm for you right quick. That's what it looks like. It's really gorgeous. It was really close to red, so I wanted to get more into those deeper, bolder colors because all I have are neutrals, really, when it comes to lipsticks. But other than that, that's all I really wanted to talk about. Um, I'll probably be posting a video again in another week or so, so I'll get back to you.